what's up Sterling? I'm a big fan of yours. Just going to give you some background. Watched a lot of porn unfortunately during my teen years and now I'm 20 years old in college. I'll get with a girl here and there but when I do, my friend isn't extremely functional and it's fucking me up because I know I can get with more girls since I have great physique and am considered good looking by other people. With this, I've completely cut out porn and fapping and started doing kegels like you recommended as well as meditation. Even copped your Dirty Talk 101 program. I know with your products and cutting out porn will make a major difference for me in terms of sex life. My question to you is how can I spice up conversations with a girl? It feels like I'm always stuck in the asking how you're doing or what's your major and can never progress to build sexual tension. Feels like it's always awkward conversation instead of it being the other way around. What is your advice to gradually spice up the conversation to be confident in doing so? Cool. It's a good question. Um, so one of my one of my favorite uh, things I've been doing over the last like year and a half on dates is going to like conspiracy theories as a great talking point. It's a funny fucking talking point. Like no joke. You could literally ask a girl like, "What's your favorite conspiracy theory?" Or, or you could go straight into shit like. Do you believe dinosaurs were real? Do you believe the earth is flat? If not, why not? You're kind of saying it in like, I don't know if you believe this shit or not. It doesn't matter if you believe any of these conspiracy theories or not. It's just a funny, a really funny, unique um, conversation piece that I guarantee no other dude has fucking asked her on a date. You could go through every conspiracy theory you can think of. Like, was 9-11 an inside job? Like, anything, any of this shit like this is actually quite funny, at least in my perspective opinion very funny and entertaining um and unique and you can you get an idea of how conspiratorially minded she is uh how easily programmed she is um like how independent of a thinker she is whether she can be playful with ideas like this and either consider them so that's a, i think it's a really fun way of having conversation that's and that's almost endless conversation because there's so many conspiracy theories out there and you can pretend like you believe one to, to test her and then reveal that you don't actually believe it there's a lot of things you can play around with it now in terms of sexual tension you don't 100%, you don't 100% necessarily have to talk about things that are sexual to induce sexual tension. What you need to do is be edgy. You need to be edgy to produce induce sexual tension in a woman. So what do I mean by edgy? I mean you need to show that you have balls and you are not afraid to offend people and be offensive. So I, I will casually, if we're, let's say if I'm walking around like a, a mall, or if I'm walking around somewhere with a woman. If I, see a, if I see a fat chick, I'll casually make a snarky comment about a fat bitch, like, privately to her. And she'll giggle and laugh and be like, oh my god, that's so inappropriate, oh my god, that's so offensive. But she'll be smiling and laughing and, and, and slapping me while she's responding to that. Like, that's one example of me being a dickhead, but being, being edgy and having balls and not being afraid to state a strong opinion about something. It also kind of ties into the conspiracy theory stuff a little bit, because you can, have, if you just decide to have a fucking strong opinion on something, okay, even a conspiracy theory, it'll show you have balls. Um, but I think that's a that's a good way of show, anything that can show that edginess to your character, um, like even to be to uh, moral like moral uh, kind of obligations, moral arguments aside, even making like slightly racist comments in front of a woman will trigger this as well. Uh, you know, depending, well, unless she's of the race that you're making fun of, then that guy's, I would definitely not do that. But making slightly racist comments will show that edginess and those balls uh, as well, which will which will spark some of the tingles downstairs at one. It 100% will. So any any opportunity you can find to have a very, very strong, be strong and opinionated about something and slightly offensive, not to her, but to someone else who is like some ethereal third party, is an opportunity to show to show those, that edginess and uh, generate some of that sexual tension. So, good luck, my friend.